we've seen how powerful the U equals U or undetectable equals untransmittable message can be. However, we've also seen that there's so many people living with HIV who are not aware of U equals U or who do not even know what undetectable means. So how do we go about changing this uh, amongst people living with HIV? That language needs to be inculcated. I feel like a lot of progress has happened, but a lot more needs to be done to make sure this is happening. I think I just want to add that I've seen like countries like Malawi or Zimbabwe have their own versions of U equals U, and they go into PEPFACOP processes with asks for funding around how to promote those. So support for things like that, that countries are able to make this in their own language. It's not the, we know the concept, but personifying it to the context within our country so that people are better able to understand it. So those are some of the things that I think need to, to be funded to, 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 to continue. Yeah. And would you like to add to that, Mindiga? Yes, thanks, Susan. And Florence, you said it absolutely beautifully, that 490 is really key to all of this. But I would just add another piece to um, realizing U equals U, and I think it's such an important message, is that we actually measure viral load in individuals. So this means making viral load uh, capability assays yes. available throughout the world, um, you know, and, and, and where possible, even making it point of care. So, you know, I think real impetus around uh, bringing those diagnostics forward. And to Winnie's point, again, around the inequality, making sure that they're not only um, affordable, but actually available and accessible to everyone so that, you know, people can know that they're undetectable.